Today, we are not looking at a modern master. We are looking at a modern legend. Once again, very rarely do we come across a modern legend. I know I just did a modern master of Ed, and I do like to cycle through characters. However, Jonathan Saito, who recently played Rashid in my last modern master uh, video that I did on a while ago, made it to legend rank with modern Ed. Very curious on what he's doing. So we got him against some matchups that I personally don't enjoy. We got Jamie, DJ, and JP. The reason being, Jamie has really good rushdown and is kind of able to close that gap quickly, especially with his uh, drive rush forward heavy punch. That ba 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 has a really good hitbox. DJ usually wins a fireball war, and JP is good at zoning, right? Where Ed's fireball's game, I feel like, always is lackluster. Or maybe my fireball game is lackluster, and Jonathan Saito is going to show us of course if you like this video or if you know jonathan please let him know that you know uh, it, would, it would be awesome if you commented uh something i always like it when the people that I make videos of comment down below it makes me happy uh please leave a like on the video it helps the video hit that algorithm juice that us little content creators are so desperately scavenging the fields for right this was dune it wouldn't be spice it would be likes and i'm like oh man and i am the desert mouse. All right, but let's get into the video. Enough rambling. Thank you, everybody. Here we go. Got to lubricate the throat real quick. Okay, so Jonathan does use outfit one. This is very important, man. Jonathan does indeed use outfit one. I want to get some mod. Okay, here we go. So that move right there, dude. This is the exact move I was talking about. I'm not going to rewind it. I'm not going to rewind it. That's the exact move I'm talking about that Jamie has. That's very good against Ed. ba 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 because it leaves you plus and that doesn't really get much. Uh, normally, uh, not normally. Uh, recently, they have indeed buffed Jamie. Wait a second. I said I wasn't going to rewind, but I'm sorry. Wait, this is... Wait. You're plus four after this. Wait a second. I never knew that. I never knew that. Thank you, Jonathan Saito. I really... I rarely use the medium... Yes, this is a combo. I rarely use the medium target combo. I like to just do heavy punch. Uh, Jonathan, I feel like Jonathan definitely could have killed there, but he just didn't want to. Utilizing that plus frames on the empty fireball, but if Jamie, if Jamie woke up EXD2, that move right there beats DI. Right? Three three quick hits in succession. Just how... Nice. Good job. Just how Ed's light psycho blitz also beats DI. Because it ba-ba-ba quickly breaks the armor, but... So, both these characters have good tools when it comes to being the eye grant. It does have to be a hard lead for Ed, per se, whereas Jamie, you can be drive rushing and then you do forward heavy punch. And, you know, you're kind of in there. The reaction, right? Now, remember, when you fight against somebody on modern, you can't jump on them. Ooh, bad parry. You can't jump on anybody on modern because they have that one button DP, which allows them to really do it. One of the buffs Jamie recently got was the fact that he can get a drink after his forward throw. Jonathan Saito panicking a little bit. Ed's defensive options, not the best. Wait, are you dead? You are. That did a lot. That did a lot more damage than what I thought. I'm not gonna lie. I feel like I did a lot more damage than what I thought. But we're all feeling it. Yeah, Ed on Ed on the back burner, not too good, per se, because his DP can be baited out with a crouching jab, same with his level one. However, Ed on the forefront. Uh, like, and having corner control is good because then you get to really set up a mixed game of this. Oh, damn. He probably should have drive rush that. I'm not going to lie. Um, or kill rush. My bad. You're dead. Kill rush. Heavy. There we go. Yeah, Ed in the... Co oh, my God. He won? Wait, I thought that was the second round. I'm not going to lie. I completely, I completely blanked out. I was just watching the Ed gameplay. And I was like, okay, what combos is... Oh, my God. Wait, I'm laughing again. Okay, my bad. We don't we don't normally do this. I'm so sorry. I forgot to leave the battle hub. I was vibing. I'm not trying to have these these uh the left in between each <laughs> each one. So please bear with me. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. So sorry. So sorry. So sorry. So sorry. But yeah, no. I mean, Jonathan Saito very does modern lose the medium heavy target combo. I feel like he never uses that, which can set up which can set up a safe jump with medium heavy. And the heavy cycle blitz, it's an auto time safe jump. So it's interesting that he's not utilizing that at all. Tries to punish that, unfortunately, unable to. Jamie Sleep, one of those 
that probably I feel like Jamie players probably hit the sweep more than any other normal. Doing that raw EX. Try to catch you hanging. There we go. So, so one thing about Ed that's very important is everything that he does has to be kind of a hard read. Didn't like go fast enough, unfortunately. But everything Ed does kind of has to be a hard read. Um, right there, right? If he's charging medium and Jamie jumps, if Jonathan doesn't kill rush back fast enough, then it's possible that he can get jumped in on. Even right there, right? Hitting the EX puts you in a position to where is your opponent going to DP? Are they going to jump? Are they going to block? Are they going to super? And it does leave you plus four, which is still a guessing game. You're kind of in charge of it, per se, right? Because all you really have to do for most of them is just walk back. That be, you know, DP, super, throw. But if the opponent does like a crouching medium kick or a crouching medium punch in Ed's cage, right, then you're, then you're in the corner. I would like him to see him immediately... Nice. I would like him to see him immediately cancel the... the flicker into kill rush and get these... Get these easy throws. We gotta look at level two here? Or level three? No. Saving it for maybe most likely round three. Or if, if needed, you could do a level two combo. Which does do a good amount of damage. Can't jump. You cannot jump. You cannot jump. You're dead. Meter save going to Oh! Wait, wait, what the fuck? Why would what? that's what I'm saying? So right here, I'm only gonna write it one time. This is why it's important to use the medium heavy target combo, right? Or Right there, he tried you. I, I obviously you're plus like fucking. I think you're like plus seven after, or you're I, you're plus a lot. What where are you after this? Yeah, you're plus twelve, and the standing heavy punch is only ten frames. But right here, doing the medium heavy uh, target combo and the kill rush into blitz, very important. He messed up his timing very slightly, and you know, I mean, we know he's not gonna lose, but if this was uh. A different moment overhead and another drink give me a four drinks but Jonathan Saito wakes up fireball I wonder if waking up fireball is the play as a reversal against certain characters or maybe just against Jamie I don't know if, if Jamie would have done touching medium kick if that would have low profile the fireball nice goes for a reset once again not canceling he never cancels Level three? No. He never canceled. Cancel, please. Oh, you're dead. Yeah, he never uses... He never does kill rush in the corner. Does Modern not have kill rush? No, because he's doing kill rush. What the fuck am I saying? He's clearly doing kill rush. So what the fuck is happening? Or is kill rush only available in auto combos? Wait a second. Something seems fishy here. Because even because you can still do moves. Does he ever? I, okay, I want. Let me see if the kill rush is only off of the auto combo. But that might be saying something that's impossible for him to do on modern. Okay, but this is very. I want to see like what he does here. Nice. Oh, nice. Caught the DJ pressing a button. No, he does kill rush right there. Yeah, so he has access to a raw kill rush. So it's very curious on like why he doesn't. Oh damn it! Side switch? No side switch coming out of the DJ. Just racking up that damage. Yeah, so I he really just never. Oh fuck you! Yo, not like this, Jonathan. Not like this. Wake up level one. I would have woke up level one. I would have been right. I would have been right. No, got clipped, unfortunately. I feel like DJ's fireball should give you more drive gauge. What the fuck is happening? Just do a level two. Draw a level two. Put him in burnout. If you put him in burnout. Oh my god, the DJ got green. Oh my god, the DJ got green. Yeah, so he really just never does. He never cancels into into kill rush. For the, for the throw. Obviously, like I said, I mean, that's a hard read. Royo with the opponent to wake up parry. Yeah, but that Jamie player always did. So that's very important for you to understand. Nice. In your throw, surprised the DJ didn't EXDP, but then again, Japanese players seem to 
not mash as much, I feel like, as American players. No level 3 coming out of the DJ there either. Which I feel like would have been... I feel like... Not necessary, per se. Oh, nice. Damn, that's a big throw because he already has some armor chips. Crouching heavy punch. Such a good button for whip punishing and leads to big boy damage. Punish counter. Dude, that crouching heavy punch goes so far and it just allows you just to set up for crazy damage. Oh, unfortunately, doesn't block the overhead. Nice. So, Jonathan Saito also utilizes the... The crouching medium kick a lot more than I than I give it credit, or is that crouching heavy punch? You guys are crouching heavy punch a lot more than I give it than I give it credit for. You're dead. You're not dead. Okay, you're dead. What the hell happened there? So I think crouching heavy kick is a great move because what crouching heavy punch does, I feel like, kind of extends your hurt box in a way. I know crouching heavy kick also extends your hurt box, but it, crouching heavy punch, I believe, has a little bit of forward momentum with it to where crouching heavy kick. It has the same range as Crouching Heavy Punch, but you don't move. Your character kind of like stays back. Good jumping. Okay, so he does have the medium heavy target combo. So he just never used it against that Jamie as well. Nice. Very utilizing the light flicker as well. Which I mostly use the medium and the heavy, but maybe utilizing light flicker is very important. You should be dead here. Okay, you're not dead there. Gets the reset. Well, not a reset per se, but, you know, gets to throw up the corner. My bad. Dude, that's such a cool character, man. Drive versus Crouching Dude. You're three seconds in the game. We're almost burnt out. But then again, kill rush. I gotta start doing that. Wait, let me, let me rewind this real quick. Okay, so yeah. So if you get the later end of kill rush, you can get... You can get heavy blitz, which allows you to set up. I gotta start doing that more, I feel like. But I like to go for the safe drop, man. Off of the medium, off of the medium heavy target combo. Call me a sicko. Call me a sicko, man. Nice. You're, oh my god, he could have killed. He could have killed. He could have killed. If Jonathan Saito was a little bit more patient, he could have killed. Now you have level three. Can't do that. Can't do that on modern, baby. Can't do that on modern. I'm telling you, man. People really need to stop trying to check these modern, modern legends. He's a modern legend now. I know it says master, but he's legend now. They chose to get the video. They really need to stop trying to check these modern legends' reactions. The one thing a modern player is supposed to do is do a frame one super. <laughs> They're supposed to do a frame one super in your fucking face and say, "Oh, it's I'm burned out. Oh, it's your turn. How about?" Mm, the moment I see you turn green. Level 3. CA. Okay, so how does he do? So a lot of fake fireballs. Coming out. Nice. Stand still. You're plus 9 there. Base it out. Could have did more. I feel like he could have definitely did more right there. Heavy punch just flops him down, dude. Heavy punch in the air just flops him on the floor. Good jump. So, if J... Oh. Plus 10. You're, oh. He could have comboed. So, the one of good things about Ed is that if you trade with his standing medium punch most of the time... Are you dead? You're not dead. What are you doing? Oh, no. If he would have did the aerial one, that would have been GG. No re. Bye. Dude, that's all that is character. Ed is all about hard fucking reads. Oh my god, driver sweep is so disrespectful. Driver sweep is just so disrespectful. Oh, messes messes up the the timing. Nice. Wait, okay. Wait, what the fuck? What the fuck? Light, light. Medium? Wait, I never knew about that combo in the corner. Wait a second, Jonathan Saito! Jonathan Saito with the tech? Also, JP, you are dead in one hit. Okay, so John, do you... No, you have heavy kick on modern because you try to do that heavy kick combo against uh, JP. Or against Jamie. So, 
I do have a video out. Um, if you want to watch, I'm not going to rewind it. But if JP teleports, you can do standing heavy kick into light flicker, and that shit does combo. And also in the EX. And also in the EX. Once again, there's that crouching heavy kick. Dude, I'm so happy about that new corner combo I just learned. Fuck yeah, man. Fuck yeah. Thank you. Look, we're all learning things here. Oh, damn it. So, JP did get nerfed. Level 3. Very interesting. JP did indeed get nerfed. Um, his amnesia scales like crazy. His crouching heavy punch is no longer immune to anti-airs. Oh, fuck. Okay, how does he win this? Wait, how does he win this? Wait, how does he win this? Because the JP drop. Wait, what the fuck? Wait, did I choose a video where he loses? My bad. Wait a second. Did I choose a video where he lo I never choose videos where they lose. I chose a video where he lost. Oh my god, dude. This video is so scuffed. My bad. Let me do... Uh, Let's look at this one where he wins. My bad, Jonathan. I didn't mean it. I was like, wait. How the fuck does he win this? Oh, whoopsie. I'm, I, I'm, I misread. I misread. That's on me. Arroyo, how can you not see which side's win and which side's loss? That's what... Hey, man. I'm sorry. It happened. Let's go. It happened. All right. Let's see him win. Nice. I thought he was going to bring it back. I mean, I thought he was going to, like, wake up super or some shit. But he didn't. So, that's on me. Whoopsie. Hey, well, look at the bright side, man. Everybody loses. Normally, I always show, like, winners. I think in the beginning of Modern Masters, I might have showed losses. And then I transitioned to only winning. But, I mean, yeah, everybody loses. So, don't be upset. So, if you're watching that and you're, and you're a modern, you're a modern ed in, like, Diamond, even Jonathan Saito loses. Nice. Nice. Good job. Good job, Jonathan. Good job, Jonathan. <laughs> Done already? Do, 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 do. Good job. Yeah. Woo. We're back on track. We're back on. Dude, this video's fucking. I don't know what happened. I was in the battle hub. I chose the wrong videos. Do excuse me. Okay. Both of you. Oh, no DP coming out. Maybe he thought that the, uh, the departure was going to come out quicker. Sometimes you just take that. Oh, fuck. Woke up matching. Damn, a perfect. Yo, Jonathan, calm down. Did I, did I choose another loss? Yo, ew. How is that shit not up his asshole? How is that not in, in, inserting himself up his rectum? Oh, wow. Dude, I, I really need to start utilizing... Um... This, uh... Nice. Good job. I really need to start utilizing this crouching heavy punch. Oh, he actually, for the first time ever, he canceled into Kill Rush. And it ended up getting him hit by a level 2. Oh, no. Level 3, Jonathan! Level... Th Jonathan! Jonathan, why are you not level 3? Also, JP just gave you... Okay. Do a level... Okay, I was like... Loki kind of do some saucy level 2 combo. He never did a level 2 combo, did he? Jonathan Saito doesn't use his level 2, which is very interesting. All right, but that's the end of the video. I'm sorry that it was kind of scuffed. Uh, leave a dislike if that pissed you off, I guess. Uh, that only seems fair. But Jonathan Saito, once again, shout out hitting legend on Modern Ed. Hopefully, if you play Modern Ed yourself, you learned quite a bit what to do in neutral. Uh, utilizing that fake fireball is key in neutral. That um, That's something that I've learned personally. But once again, please hit the subscribe button, comment down below, leave a like. Uh, comment down below if you want, if there's somebody who you want me to look at, and I'll take a look at them. And I'll see y'all again next time. See ya!